please consider becoming a patron of the Ramen Raider. Patrons receive special benefits like bonus videos, voting on the Patrons' Choice Top 10, and early Top 10 list access. Visit patreon.com slash the Ramen Raider and become a patron today. Thank you. Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got something different. Actually, it's pretty common stuff, at least this style around the world. But you just don't see it so much here in the States, and now you can get it. So, <clears throat> I've had people ask me all the time, can you get like a block of noodles with no seasoning, you know, just the noodles. Well, guess what? I told you I was going to have a Nong Shim one today. Look, it's just noodles. I mean, it's like, it's literally what it is. It's just the noodle block. It takes four minutes, yada yada. But today, we're doing something a little special. So I'm going to be cooking it for three and a half minutes or so. We'll go with that, three and a half minutes or so. Let's take this timer, seven, two, three, yeah, let's do, there, three and a half minutes. Yeah, so. Special recipe day, oh yeah. Got some tickets, let's do a couple of these while we wait for the noodles to cook. My little segue time killer. Instant winner, more game tickets. I mean, I can't complain, I like to peel them, but we got, we got uh, like, I went and I got Five power aids and a dozen eggs, and I got six tickets. One, ooh, a lip balm instant winner. I believe my wife is partial to the chapstick. So. She said she told me there's like you can, people get addicted to it, which is kind of weird. But I never thought of that. Scan one. You know, some of these you just scan. You scan them. And we got a, another scan one. You can scan the pieces now. So you don't have to put them on the board, but you have to keep the physical piece. So if you win the 50 grand or the 100 grand, Free Shutterfly, that won't work. Um, you just have to have the pieces, but then you gotta dig through everything to find all the right pieces. That's okay for 50 grand. I'll dig through these things for a week. I don't care, I just put them all in a Ziploc. That's my tip to you, the viewer. Instant winner! Signature select canned vegetables. You know, I always thought that, you know, suffer and succotash. Corn and lima beans is really good. And I guess that's succotash. 50, 50 cents off a greeting card. Those are ridiculously expensive. I mean, come on. Who really wants to spend. I mean, the Valentine's Day card I got for my wife for me and Mimi and Miles was 10 bucks. It was fancy. Free donut or bagel, that's my downfall. I love both of those things. It's actually been like 800, 900 days since I've had a donut. We used to go to this place called Family Donut and get like a couple dozen of them. Instant win, more tickets. Wow, we're doing good this go. Not too shabby. But yeah, I had to quit eating donuts. Uh, scan. 
Yeah. I really like good donuts. Good old fashioned donuts that are chocolate covered. Oh, forget about it. Maybe I'll have one on my birthday. I don't know. That's next month. Well, not for you. It's already passed. Hope you were at the party. Hopefully I ended up doing the party. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Our noodles is cooked. So these literally are just the noodle block, okay? No seasoning. What flavor are they? Noodle flavor. Drain them real good. Okay. And we'll put these right here for now. Now, we're going to get weird. You ready to get weird with me? The ramen raider? It's weird time. Not, not too incredibly weird, honestly. But for me, it's kind of weird on this show because we're actually going to use a skillet on the front burner. Yeah. So let's turn the heat on to nuclear. We're going to actually do it up solid. I'll need a spoon. That's a spoon. I really want to use the, ah, oh, here we go. For, for certain circumstances, I require a slightly classier spoon. That is the classiest spoon of them all. Yeah, classy spoon required for this one. This will get hot. Let's tear a couple more up. Yeah. What do we got here? Eh. What's this one? Instant win, $100. That'd be nice. I'd take a hundred, I mean, take whatever they'll throw at me as long as it's something I I could use. If it's something I really don't need. Yeah. I've seen people do that too, the crazy coupon people. They'll just get all this stuff and it's like, who, why are you doing this? Why are you, you know? I'd be more worried about their addiction than the lip balm addiction, honestly. Cause that's just downright hoarding, gluttony of a, of a. I mean, you gotta, you pay your rent, you know. Fifty cents off a Snapple. Charming. Fifty cents off beef jerky, which is another thing that's what. So that's quite warm. Let me have a sip of my beverage. That was multiple sips. I apologize. Um, yeah. I got a couple eggs. I gotta, gotta bust up a couple eggs here. Right now. Ah. Oh. I will tell you right now, when it comes to eggs, it's just not my thing. That's why I use those little egglet things. I mean, I see people all the time making those fancy eggs but I don't know something about cracking eggs and trying to peel them it just drives me insane because messes happen I'm just not I don't have egg stare egg, 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 de egg dexterity egg sterity I don't know but we need these are two extra large eggs I 
Ahorita. No, we're getting all classy. Let's turn it up a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let go! I guess that's not the place to leave your noodles. <sighs> Alright. add a ton of stuff to this. We got barbecue pork, mung bean sprouts, and onion. Try to get this all together. Yeah, see, I'm not so good at stuff like this. But I'm doing this for you. So you can watch me fail. I don't mind. And uh, yeah. So we needed that fancy spoon uh, for this. You know what this is if you're a seasoned follower of my doings and conspiring. A big old healthy lot of that. Up. This is Laogan Ma Spicy Chili Crisp. Let me get this moving and grooving here and then I'll show ya. Stuff is like gold, I tell ya. It makes everything smell so good and taste so good. I've heard that there's people who put it on ice cream. It's so versatile. And the thing that's tricky about it is it is salty, so... If you put it with something that's really salty already, it doesn't always cut in correctly. this is, is letting it chill out just long enough for the noodles to get a little crisp. And what we're going to do, drop the eggs in, stir it all up, and then let that happen. This is what you do with your instant noodles. From now on. You make this crazy looking monstrosity. And then you will like it. Because I say you're gonna like it. I'll let it chill for a minute, and I'll let you see the stuff I'm swearing up and down about lately. Yeah, this is called Laogan Ma Spicy Chili Crisp. 
Ask for it by name at your local Asian grocer. It's quite delicious. It's like, it's spicy, it's salty, it's got a sweetness to it. It's like savory, it's spicy, and it's crunchy. It's, it's, it's everything, all in one. The only thing it's not is sour, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna let this kind of sizzle a little bit. And hopefully the bottom of those noodles start to get a little crisp. This is the first time I've ever made it like this. I've made it, you may have seen my older reviews where I do the, uh, the recipe my mom used to make for me. Just look up uh, Ramen Raider's mom's recipe on my channel or on the site. You'll, you'll find it. It's a lot more basic. I don't throw in all this different junk with it. So we shall see what we end up with. And hopefully we end up with something that's quite enjoyable. Something that you'll want to call your dinner at some point. This is definitely something perfect for like 2 a.m. after you've been out at the bar all night. Hmm. More tickets. More tickets because we're gonna go to the store tonight. Well, I'm gonna walk to the store tonight, and uh, they'll probably give me more tickets. So, uh, instant winner: one seventeen ounce refresh ice beverage. Wow! I remember this lady who used to. Uh, wait for her kid and drop her kid off at the bus stop that Miles goes to. Instant win, more tickets. Um, she said what they would do is they would get all the instant wins and invite like their whole family over and make like a big instant win dinner. Just only using the stuff in the in instant win, a donut or bagel. Wow, I hit the instant win jackpot. Unfortunately, I don't think it's really much of anything I want. <sighs> and don't worry, I will taste this. <laughs> but, you know, you know the fate of all this food. For those of you who don't, yes, it does not get eaten. It goes bye-bye. I might save it. My wife might want to try it, but... Yes. Why? How can you waste so much food? It's like, well... Uh, again, if you're new to the whole instant noodle recipe times extravaganza, I've lost uh, over 150 pounds in the last 15 months. So that's that's why I that's why it gets kind of wasted. I could eat it all and not lose weight. So if that would make you feel better, then you're a bad bad person. <laughs> But I do make a lot of food that's really hard not to eat all of, you know? Like, man. 
Maybe a little more oil would have been a good plan on this one. I don't know. It's not so quickly getting to that nice crunchy edge part yet. Man, now I'm in a drought. Oh yeah. 50 cents off Oscar Mayer lunch meat. M-E-Y-E-R. M-O-U-S-E. I don't think they put mouse in the lunch meat. I've always heard like all these horror stories of like hot dogs and this and that having all this funk in it. It's like it doesn't. I really don't think. I don't think it does. It's like people are like instant noodles. What's that stuff made out of, man? There's all this and that and this and that. I will tell you right now. I actually visited where these noodles are made down in California. And I'll tell you one thing, that place was cleaner than any place I've ever been in my life. Straight up. It's like all these big companies get these certifications and they spend so much money to keep those things, man. Oh, wow. But they, they want those, you know? And, I think it'd be nice if people like took the time because of all the time that it takes for them to get these certs to understand like what is ISO blah 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 what is SGS what is this what is that you know it's like they spend a lot of time and money and manpower and resources on making sure that their factories are in a certain way don't just be entitled be informed but yeah, that place was really neat. I really liked going and visiting Nong Shim. They're down in Rancho Cucamonga, California. I just love the name. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? But yeah, they uh, you go in there, you meet all the nice people. They're really nice. And uh, you go, here, let me put this down here for now. Yeah. They go and... Uh, I think they gave us, my wife and I, a tour, and this was in 2012, 2011? I want to say 2012. And it was rad. They took us all around the place. The place is like, got this central corridor with windows on each side that's like, it's, the place was made with giving people tours in mind. And we got to do a special thing, though. We got to go to the R&D department and try stuff that they were working on, and they're like, you please don't tell anybody about it. And it was, you know, this is like eight years ago. I still don't tell people about it. But it was freaking good. I wish they would have rolled it out. But I think that product got shelved. But that was nummy. If you're listening, I'm sure you got a record of it somewhere what I tried. And it was good. Very home styling and yeah you get to see how the machines make all the stuff it's a, quite a process but it just at the end of the line you get like all these things just getting cranked out really cool that was the first instant noodle factory I ever went to uh, I've been to instant noodle factories now in uh, well, Southern California was the first uh, Malaysia Thailand, and on my first trip to Taiwan, I want to say we went to, gee, nine of them in a day. No, in two days, in two days. But 
It was ridiculous. We went and saw like a lot of noodle places. And they made all sorts of different kinds of noodles. And I don't think any of them were actually what you would quote unquote call uh, instant in the traditional instant way. Instant noodles are fried noodles. These are instant noodles. Noodles that are air dried are not technically considered instant noodles because you need to cook them in a pot. Instant noodles, pour water over them, cover them three minutes, they're done. That makes it an, an, a noodle, an instant noodle. But yeah, it's air tight, buddy. My boy's out there uh, sneezing. Yeah. All right, put this in here. I'm gonna move you back a little bit before I do this to avoid any kind of schmutz on the lens. take a couple of glamour shots and I'll be right back to uh, give it a try. All right, I'm back. Let's uh, give this a try. This is like so up my alley. Cheers. This is the barbecue pork. really well. The mung bean sprouts did well too. They're not like funky or they, they play well. It's almost like egg foo young to be honest. say it would have been better if I used more of the Laogan Ma. I didn't want to overdo. I do know how many calories it is, so. If your doctor told you you need to gain weight, this is the way to do it. Big time. It's nice though. It's really, really nice. It's nice and warm. And the vegetables work in it too. But it definitely It definitely needs more of that Laogan Ma chili crisp.
<laughs> Hands off. Well, let's rotate a little bit on it. And um, get real smooth. You know? Oh, but it doesn't stop there, right? Alrighty, right. Well, that was fun. Something nice, a little diversion in the middle of my day. And yeah, it's really not hard to do. Uh, thanks to the folks at Nong Shim for uh, just sending over just the noodles. Just noodles. They're just noodles. So, cool. Alright. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles. Have a good one. Bye.